Hi, cat. <laughs> Come and get some mango, baby. Self-awareness is a superpower. My name is Kathy LaDonna. Welcome to Soul and Vibration. I hope the free thinkers are doing well. And if you're not doing well, I'm happy to remind you that you are the most powerful person that you know. You are the most powerful person that you know because only you can create your reality. Hey guys, today is Tuesday, December 26th and the energies in the day adds up or reduce to number nine vibration. If today is your birthday, happy birthday. So when it comes to the spirit animal, Ooh, we have the mouse showing up as a spirit animal and with the mouse showing up as a spirit animal. Mm, interesting. Hmm. Okay. So with the mouse showing up as a spirit animal, I say interesting because I see a few things happening. The moon just entered into cancer. There is still a T square happening towards the moon. But there's also positive aspects being made to the moon. Like it's a part of a trine between Saturn and Jupiter, Saturn and Pisces, Jupiter and Taurus. So the positive aspects being made to the moon, um, moon and cancer brings me to the inner world, wanting security, stability and safety. Moon and cancer sometimes can cause us to be a little bit fearful or timid, really sensitive about every little thing. To the point that we're fearfully trying to protect ourselves in whatever way that we can. And if we're operating from that mindset, sometimes we could find ourselves jumping into situations or making decisions coming from that timid, fearful place only to find ourselves regretting it. Because in some cases, maybe we didn't represent ourselves properly because we're coming from that fearful place or we agree to things or made decisions that we normally wouldn't have or if we were in our right mind. So there's a positive aspect being made to the moon, um, the moon, Jupiter and Saturn. And I feel like those positive aspects, the inner world is thinking about, you know, ways how to organize one's dreams in order to get security and stability. But the moon is opposing, uh, Mercury, Mars in Sagittarius and Sun in Capricorn. The moon is opposing putting ourselves out there, uh, going into uncomfortable, uh, going basically putting ourselves out there and stepping out into our stepping out of our comfort zones is what I want to say. Mercury is in retrograde and I don't want to blame anything on Mercury retrograde, but since starting these videos, boy, have I found myself having to fight for my words? And I didn't want to say it because I feel like once I put my attention towards something, I'm going to create more reasons to make it a thing. Hopefully that's not the case. I just feel myself fighting for my words, boy. But like, yeah, where the moon is, like I said, the moon is opposing, fearful of change. The moon is opposing and fearful of us putting ourselves out there so that others could have an opinion, putting ourselves out there so others could see that we failed or see that we've won. Either way, you know, the moon is in a position where we don't want attention, good or bad. We don't want attention. Moon and cancer does not like attention or only wants attention from those who matter. Moon and cancer only wants attention from those who matter. Everybody else who doesn't matter, they don't want it. So, you know, in order to get from point A to B security stability wise, it's like, damn, I have to put myself out there and I'm terrified. So maybe that might explain this mouse energy, because when I think of the mouse, I think of how timid the mouse is, how cautious the mouse is. But then, you know, this is a spirit animal guidance. So, you know, it must be necessary. 
when I think of the mouse energy, I think of how the mouse could be, I think of humbling energy, which moon in cancer, that's already a humbled energy. Um, oh, I know why all this came up. So today is ruled by Mars. And Mars is in Sagittarius. The energies in the day adds up and reduces the number nine vibration. And the number nine is also ruled by Mars. But I feel like Mars associated with the number nine energy is almost like Mars in Scorpio in the sense that the number nine energy is a humanitarian energy that doesn't seem to rock the boat in the sense that the number nine has a passive feminine way about it, even though it's masculine. So with mars energy strongly influencing the day and then mars in sagittarius it's like it's so easy for some of us to act without thinking but at the same time the number nine energy is the ruler of the day so i feel like if anything i feel like people would be more like playing chess more strategic more chameleon like more manipulative uh, hiding their hand, not making their intentions be known. So when I think of the mouse energy and it being the spirit animal of the day, and then Mars energy to me and the number nine energy, I get the feeling of reading between the lines. When it comes to today's energies, you definitely want to read between the lines. I think of like how the saying is like if we try to avoid a it's like you cannot tell someone the truth um, and try to you cannot tell somebody the truth and avoid offending them at the same time. So when I think about the energies in the day, I think about, you know, someone telling you what it is that they think you want to hear or telling you what it is that they're telling you to avoid confrontation or challenges when really, you know, you might need the truth in a certain situation. But at the same time, that's not what it is that you're getting. Or I think about someone um, playing themselves or a situation up to be more than what it actually is and not being forthright about the reality of a thing. I think of power struggles and control could be a thing, but it feels more gaslighting. It's not, it's not direct and in your face type of energy. I say that because the day is a 26. The number two is nurturing. The number two is also unifying. The number six deals with community responsibilities. The number six also deals with the material sides of life. Two plus six is eight. The number eight deals with education, control, authority. And when I think of the authoritative aspect of the day from the 26 and how the number eight is created, which is the number two, the number two is nurturing. It's feminine. It, it's conflict avoidant. The number six is uh, the number six deals with family community, but the number six could also be materialistic. The number six could also be insecure because of that strong material aspect of it. And then two plus six is eight. Like I think of a person who might have like a fragile ego or personality. I mean, a fragile ego. And from the fragile ego is where they're making certain decisions. But this is where the person throws the stone and hides their hand type of situation with the energies in the day adding up to a number nine vibration and this coming out. And then the moon and cancer avoiding, um, avoiding like being out there, avoid being out there, avoiding attention, avoiding wanting to be seen. I remember I was having a conversation with someone and this person is very opinionated and they would do great having like their own YouTube or social media or whatever. But they were, I forgot what the person said to me and it just reminded me of cancer energy so much where it's like they don't even want to put themselves out there and have people disagreeing with them. And I feel like that's cancer energy all day. I think of 50 cents who's a cancer who is so opposite, but I'm sure there's other things in his chart. Like the number eight, I think he's like a life path, eight birthday, number eight, something like that. But there's other energies that probably um, plays up the strength of cancer and doesn't allow the weakness of cancer to dominate it. But with the moon and cancer, our inner world is in a place where, yeah, we're reflecting on home, family, security, and stability. 
and the thought of stepping out of our comfort zone is terrifying and because of that fear we're tiptoeing around something today we're tiptoeing around something today and also too with the energies in the day adding up to the number nine energy something has to come to an end something needs to be released but it's like we're tiptoeing around the ending we're avoiding the ending i think of the person who is like you know the relationship is over but it's like they leave a bunch of their stuff you know at the other person's house so that they can have reasons to keep going back and forth and every time they go back and forth they only take a few things because they keep hoping that every time they go back and forth to get a few things the person might change their mind and it's like they're playing games because they don't want to put themselves out there and start over all start all over again they're terrified of starting all over again terrified of the unknown terrified of stepping out of their comfort zone so they keep you know taking a little bit here taking a little bit there when they need to just accept the change accept the change and i feel like this card three of uh wands in the reversal position in the upright position to me this is someone who has something to look forward to in the reversal position, it's feeling like one doesn't have anything to look forward to. In this position, I think of the person who have been working on something, whether the person's been going to college for a minute, but they're working towards something. One day they will uh, be able to reap the benefits of, you know, their, the fruits of their labor. Someone who's been educating themselves on something, they've been working on something someone who's been, you know, creating their channel or just doing something. You're working towards something and one day you're looking forward to the fruits of your labor. In the reversal position to me this brings me to not having anything to look forward to, which brings me to what I was saying about like the example of the person who's avoiding the breakup when the relationship been ended a long time ago. You know, the person avoiding the change in career when it's like that shift been happened is just your physical body hasn't shifted out of the situation yet and of course you guys know that i'm not telling anybody to go leave their job or anything like that because you know i won't be paying your bills so i would never tell you that but um with these energies i get the feeling of yeah someone tiptoeing around something because they feel they don't have something to look forward to so some things that come to mind with this is like say someone putting up with like putting up with BS from someone. It could even be abuse. Like say someone putting up with verbal abuse from their mom because you know, you're grown but she pays the bills or verbal abuse from your dad or your sibling or whoever or your ex or whoever. You're grown but they pay the bills. So it's like tiptoeing around them because you feel like you don't have something to look forward to and that's so not true. What I'm getting with this energy is that a shift has happened. A shift has been happened within you around you it's just a matter of you physically moving your body you physically shifting your mind into the shift that's happened around you so i get the person who's holding on to something that it's like the shift has happened so an example might be the person who's broken up and they've left most of their stuff at the ex's house and they keep going back slowly getting things or avoiding getting things and it's like the shift has happened you just need to get your stuff and keep it pushing but the shift has happened such a pleasure sharing this message with you if you'd like to book a natal chart awareness coaching session with me or check out my exclusive contents available only on patreon the links for that is in the description box below but before you go anywhere please let me know you're here with me by dropping me a brown heart in the comment box below i would love to hear from you and look forward to seeing you tomorrow Love yourself as if your life depended on it, because it does. Take care of yourself, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.